Good morning, the Form.Life friends. Starting Monday, we begin a new journey, learning about the often overlooked member of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit. What's exciting, especially for those of you who both engage us on Sundays and journey with us here in the Form.Life, is that this season is tethered closely to our Sunday sermon series. Here's what you can expect this week and how to plan for it. For today, we want you to spend some time in prayer and prep for gathering with God's people around God's Word. And also take some time today to make your plans for how to engage this week's journey in the Form.Life. Also take some time to pray through John Stott's brilliant prayer provided in the post. The Triune Theology is on point. On Monday, since we will be looking at various passages focused on the person and work of the Holy Spirit, rather than being anchored in any one text, we want to give you some of the broader context ahead of time. Therefore, you'll notice that this whole week builds up and equips you to engage God's Word more robustly on the upcoming Sunday. So this week, we're focusing in on the Spirit's role in creation. And to help with that, we've provided the Bible Project's two videos that give you an overview of the book of Genesis. It should take about 15 minutes to watch. On Tuesday, we will provide specific texts to read in Genesis with guided questions for reflection. Plan about eight minutes here. On Wednesday, this is a day when we focus on memorization and meditation on God's Word. It's just a couple verses this week. So know yourself and plan for a place to review the passage several times or download the lock screen graphic for your phone to keep this verse in front of you as much as possible. On Thursday, we are using our ears. We'll be giving you a few specific passages for you to listen to and some questions to follow up for reflection and journaling. I'd plan around 10 minutes on this day. On Friday, we'll be praying scripture. We'll give you some passages that we've been reading through and invite you to pray through one of them afterwards. And then document what God was bringing to mind in those scripture-soaked prayers. Finally, when we come to Saturday, we're engaging the discipline of silence, a much-needed practice when we think about the world today and the spirit in our lives. We're just dipping our toes in the water of silence, but we'll be growing in this practice over the weeks. Okay, you should be all set for week number one. Excited to learn alongside of you. Let's put the formed back in biblically informed. Let's engage the discipline of study this week together.